Hello everyone and welcome back to Legends Closet. Thank you very much for tuning in. Of course, I'm your host Tim over here on the famous plaid. Anyways, if you check these things out, these are some trains from uh, Learning Curve. They're similar to Thomas the Tank. Put those in the video just to kind of show you a little bit of what I got. But mainly the biggest things I got are these. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. And my favorite. Let's see if we can get them smoking. Look at that. The fire breathing toothless fury. So he just sits there and he lights up and smokes. You put water in the bottom here. So this takes just a very little bit of water. And then it heats it up and vapors it. Alright, aside from that, let's get into this really juicy stuff. So first of all, this one is a play school. Sorry about that. This one's a play school. Let's see if we can get in there without it doing that. It doesn't really say there. It says right here. So this is a... Sorry, not play school. This is a 98... 98 1998 Fisher Price... And he's one of those family loving dolls, but he's the only one that he squeezes legs and, you know, he holds babies and stuff and then flings them around and, you know, fun stuff like that. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get further into that. We got a bunch of both types. So these are definitely play school you'll see on the back here. Uh, let's see, we'll go in here. She's got it on her boot. 2001 Mattel. See if it will let you see it. See it? Alright, great. Uh, dinosaurs. I don't really like dinosaurs, but this one's a Jurassic Park world or whatever. You know, you mess with this head. It's probably only worth about five bucks or whatever, but better than the dinosaurs that don't sell at all. Uh, so, I got all these in a $3 bag with other dolls and stuff like a frozen doll and uh vintage poly pocket so they all came together this one i thought looked kind of like hillary clinton but she's also vintage let's see does she say yeah right here 1993 fisher price so i was a kid so those are all vintage toys came together these came in a bag of their own, in a couple of different bags, <clears throat> but I had to have them because, you know, it's Imaginex. So these are listed together. I do have an extra Superman. I was able to get an extra Superman, so I have two of those Supermans. You got this right here that came with one of those bags with, I think, Batman. Just a cheap Imaginex toy. You got a little bit of your Star Wars, you got your vintage G.I. Joe, M.A.S.K. masks, um, some generic toys, like these right here are generic wrestlers. This one's got pants that have numbers and Y's and stuff, so I think V, E, 2, J, so you know, you, they were trying to do a Y, 2, J, but they didn't want to get, you know, sued. And then the same here with J.B.L., like, they couldn't, it was just, I don't know where those came from, but I had to have them. Same with this guy. I don't know if they were trying to make him like the God of War guy. But he's an angry little fella. Some, like I said, some generic military guys. But anyways, I wanted to show you a little bit of what I've gotten recently. What I'm planning to sell. This thing right here just sold. This sold with uh, three other ones. I'll look it up right now and get them packaged up, but other than that, oh yeah, my Wildcrats. Uh, forgot to show the Wildcrats too. Well, I'll show that in, uh, I would say in another video, but it's being packaged up, so just be on the lookout for toys like the Wildcrats as well, because they do sell. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope everybody has a great rest of the week.